this knot has a proper name. I just call it a deer hunting knot or a hunting knot. All you do is you, you take your string, double it over, just like this. Just double it over. Simple knot. It's very, very strong, very durable. And uh, all you then do then, if you need to uh, attach it to something, is take the string, feed it back through the little loop, and then you have a noose. You can run your string back through there, and you have a noose, and I'm using it to repair a target today. Okay, what you do to get your bow up in the tree is you, uh, you make your fancy knot, you stick it through, and then you just loop it over the end, and there's no way that that uh, bow is going to fall off of there. You might want to make a bigger knot if you uh, are shooting a compound because uh, you have bigger pulleys to go over. You can also just run it through there like that with a recurve, and it's going to fall off of there. Now you can tie another knot above it and make another loop and uh, when you have a snap or whatever you can hook onto it. Uh, speaking of snaps, what I do it. And if you want to uh, use a snap, I don't like to because they're noisy, but uh, it's easy to attach. It's easy to attach anything to this knot. You just stick your loop through here like this, bring your snap down and then you you're ready to go and again so the wind won't blow your string around you can have an extra loop here off of your uh, clasp take it around like this and snap your clasp if you don't on a windy morning It'll blow around the tree up where you can't reach it and you have a hard time finding it. Here's a tip for some of you beginning bow hunters. When you're going to raise your bow into the stand, always tie onto the top of your bow. That way your arrows won't be getting, getting caught on things on the way up. And just the opposite, when you're laying, uh, letting it back down, you want to have it with the top down. Another useful thing that you can do with this knot is uh, tie three of them, one on each end and one in the middle. And then if you have a small animal like a rabbit or a squirrel, you can uh, take the center loop, hang it on a tree, make your little noose for one leg and a noose for the other leg, and then you can uh, skin your squirrel or rabbit right there. And uh, this uh, rabbit slash squirrel skinning device can serve double duty if you have a tarp with you and you're out in the woods and you need to uh, camp for the night and uh, make an emergency shelter. You just take it around the tree like this, run it through like this, and of course this distance here is way too short to make a shelter, but I'll use this as an example. Okay, we have our uh, rabbit skinning slash squirrel skinning device. Now what we do is we get another length of rope, tie a knot like that in both ends, run it around the tree, run it through the loop, Come back over here and run it through this loop, through this loop, 
through this loop. And you can get tremendous tension on this. It's like a banjo string. Then you simply tie it off, preferably with a slip knot. And you can put your tarp over this. And you can do all that with two pieces of string. Skin squirrels, skin rabbits. Put a ridge line up for a shelter. As far as dragging deer out, you can't beat this too. Uh, what you would do is put the string through the loop, put that around the deer's neck. You might want to do this with a heavier rope. And again, with this string that has the, the loop on both ends, get a stick about yay long and do the same thing. Just like that, tie it onto the stick, and then you have a handle, just like my finger would be. You'd grab it like this and drag your deer out. You can get all that functionality with some paracord wrapped around the flashlight. You can stick it in your backpack, it doesn't weigh anything.